Starting with commoning education, we can begin to learn and develop theories that naturally lead to commoning activity and the building of commons institutions, renewing and breathing life into our communities and our natural world. Stewarding the commons gives power to the people and in doing so also assists in the successful transition from debt-based money and private property to commons-based money and common property, from market state to a partner state, from corporatocracy to conscious capitalism, from exclusive organisation of individuals and groups to commons-based self-organisation, all embedded in commoning cultures and a commons-based society. The commons-based society is beyond capitalism and communism. It transcends all theories embedded in or arising out of the industrial age. The commons-based society is embedded in and arises out of the new and maturing peer-to-peer -peer logic, acting as the operating system for a distributed interconnected array of local and regional commons, existing in a digital age, working like a living system. The radical social engagement inherent in the spirit of the commons based on collaborative commoning relationships is as a result of an awakened democratic voice from within our communities. This newfound voice, seen most recently in the international Occupy movement, can hold the state and market to account and ensure that the state works for the people as a whole, not for those with the most monetary influence. Now, as a third and primary force in society, the commons is no utopia. It is instead an emergent cultural and social system that would, in partnership with the state, ensure that all communities are allowed to develop in recognition of their own stage of development and extent to which power can be devolved to the particular community or communities concerned. Among other necessary market-based reforms, the market now internalises what were once human and natural externalities and works consciously and under the terms set by the commons. Broad strategies towards a commons-based society with commons learning at its heart. In the realisation that we are the ones we have been waiting for, this is achievable through at least four broad strategic actions. One, joined up grassroots pressure at all levels from local, national and international structures. Two, co-creating the new world and social institutions that we, as grassroots social movements, wish for now, in the present, and reflective of the particular communities concerned. Three, that co-creation includes not only a renewal of our social institutions, but also a necessity to develop common capacities and tools, i.e. those that enhance collaboration in self-organising, co-production and co-governance of our common resources. As 1, 2 and 3 involves occupying our resource domains and learning how to grow them into commons through commoning relationships, number 4 requires us to connect with commons-friendly policy theorists, such as James Quilligan, and implementers to partner with the commons grassroots in developing new laws and economics that create a new basis for exchange and governance, reflecting, instead of debt-based money and private property, commons-based money and common property. All four of these require an education of commoning and the commons, so to set the broadest context in which our creative and collective dream for a sustainable, thrivable world can be realised. Equally important is the activity of co-learning and joining the dots with other in initiatives who are or work towards building stronger, self-reliant communities, commons and network societies. The next steps in the story of the School of Commoning. Just to recap, over the coming months we'll be holding regular events in London. Every week we host the Commoning Cafe and every six weeks the Commoning Cafe gameplay event. In April there'll be an Urban Space Commons event for co-designers and co-facilitators interested in collaboration on the Startup Knowledge Commons. From May 7th to May 18th we're convening a major 12-day event taking place in London, starting in the House of Commons on the Convergence for a Commons-Based Economy featuring globally renowned commons theorist, activist, policy analyst and founder of the Global Commons Trust, James Quilligan. If you feel that market and state serve neither your interests nor the common good, you're not alone. If you want to explore and eventually support the emergence of the commons as the third force of social organisation, help us make this seminar series happen. 
It will be a place where grassroots movements and think tanks meet and build capability together for systemic change towards a sustainable, fair and commons-based economy. Your donation, however small, will help this pioneering project bring us one step closer to that future. If this new narrative of the Commons and the story of the School of Commoning intrigues you and you want to see Commons education thrive, then we invite you to join us on this journey. Consider how you can become a part of this fascinating story. Some suggested ways to participate are as a Commons blogger, experience designer, filmmaker, video maker, pattern seeker, community knowledge gardener, tech geek, online host, storyteller, visual artist, social reporter, intern or transmedia wizard. The level of engagement you bring to any one of or more of these roles in our educational commons is entirely up to you. Just let us know how you would like to collaborate. And if you're an experienced commoner of the commons and commoning in general, or more specifically a particular commons, and you'd like to work with us, please get in touch. As well as partners and associates, we invite people to join our small team to assist in any of the ways mentioned above in a facilitative role on behalf of the whole ecosystem of commoners that we serve. If you are new to the commons, or even if you're not, why not dip your toe in at our next weekly commoning cafe? Remember, before the cafe, try to spend a few minutes or more envisioning the narrative outlined in this video, and jot down the questions that you have about this narrative. For further information and to get in touch with us, please contact us at team at schoolofcommoning.com, our main website schoolofcommoning.com, and we have an events page at meetup.com forward slash schoolofcommoning events. We're also on Facebook and on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash schoolofcommoning and twitter.com forward slash commoning school. Again, if you want to support commoning education and the emergence of a commons based society, please donate now to the link below. Please share this video and hopefully your enthusiasm about the school with your friends and family. Help spread the word about this new narrative and explore the commons in a 21st century crying out for a new story of, by and for people and planet.